our review for our unit 9b test. This was on exponentials and logarithms. And we're going to start by expanding logarithms. I'm going to show you two of them. And you can pause the video, try it on your own, and I'll show you the answer. For the first one, you have log base 3 of 18x. And number two is log base 4 of x divided by 10. So pause your video, try it. Remember on the first one when you have a log of values that are being multiplied when you expand that's written as two separate logs that are added. So we have log base 3 of 18 plus log base 3 of x. For number two, when you have a log of two values that are being divided, then as separate logs they are being subtracted. It is the one in the denominator that is subtracted. So we have log base 4 of x minus log base 4 of 10. For number three, you have log of 9x to the fourth, y to the fifth, and number four is the natural log of 7xy cubed over z to the sixth. Again, pause your video, try it on your own, and then check your answers. For number three, you have a nine, an x, and a y, so you're writing log three times. So you have log base 10 of nine, plus 4 times log base 10 of x, plus 5 times log base 10 of y. Remember we wrote separate logs and then the exponent of 4 is on the x only. It becomes the coefficient for the log containing x only. The exponent of 5 is on the y only. It becomes the coefficient for the log containing y only. For number 4, we have a 7, a x, a y, and a 6. Exponents are not separate logs, okay? It's just these bases. So I have the natural log of 7 plus the natural log of x plus 3 times the natural log of y. Z was the only one in the denominator. It's the only term subtracted. I have minus 6 natural log of z. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to condense some logs. So number 5 is 4 times log base 10 of x minus 8 times log base 10 of z. For number 6, log base 3 of 4 minus, in parentheses, 2 times log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of y, close parentheses. Be careful on number 6. Again, try it on your own, and we'll look at it together. On number five, I started by moving coefficients back up as exponents first, and then when you're subtracting as a single log, you are dividing. Z was the log that was being subtracted. It is the one that goes in the denominator. I have log base 10 of x to the fourth over z to the eighth. All right, number six. Just like any time you have parentheses, you should work inside the parentheses first. And so this 2 becomes an exponent on x. These logs were being added, so as a single log, those values are multiplied. Now, to continue, since I have subtraction, I'm going to have a fraction. This is the term that's being subtracted. This is what goes in the denominator. Log base 3 of 4 over x squared y. Moving on to solving. Number seven. I have log base three of x, I'm um, sorry, log base three of, in parentheses, six x plus five, and it equals log base three of, in parentheses, two x plus 20. 
Well, both sides are log base 3, so if I used a base of 3, they would be canceled, and I would just be left with the values in parentheses set equal to each other. So I have 6x plus 5 equals 2x plus 20. Combine like terms, subtract 2x to bring it over, subtract 5 to take it to the other side, divide by 4, and you've got your answer. Moving on, number 8. I have log base 2 of, in parentheses, 3x plus 1, close parentheses, equals 4. I'm going to choose to just change this to exponential notation. So my base is 2 raised to a power of 4 equals the 3x plus 1. 2 to the 4th power, well if I multiply 2 4 times I get 16. Subtract 1, divide by 3, and 5 is a good answer. Number 9. I have log base 10 of x plus log base 10 of 2x plus 3 in parentheses equals log base 10 of in parentheses x plus 12. So I've got logs on both sides and on the left I have log written twice so I need to condense that to a single log because those logs are being added as a single log those values are multiplied. So when I multiply x times 2x plus 3, I distribute it over both terms, and I get 2x squared plus 3x. Both sides were log base 10, so I can take and use the base of 10 on both sides to cancel the logs, and it leaves the part that was in parentheses equal to each other. It is going to be quadratic, so I need to move everything to one side of the equation. So I subtract an x to bring it over, I subtract 12 to bring it over, and now I need to factor and solve this quadratic equation. There's a common factor of 2 to factor out. Once I factor that out, that trinomial factors as x plus 3 and x minus 2. When I set those equal to 0 and solve, I get negative 3 and a 2. But that x equals negative 3 is extraneous, so the only good answer from this problem is x equals 2. Number 10. I have 6 with an exponent of 3x equals 6 with an exponent of 2x plus 5. If I take log base 6 of both sides, it cancels that base of 6 and leaves the exponents equal to each other. Combine like terms, I subtract 2x and move it over. x is equal to 5, and I've got a good answer. Number 11, I have 6 with an exponent of x plus 7 <coughs> equals 36 with an exponent of x minus 2. This time my two different sides do not have the same base, but this 36 can be written as 6 squared, so I can write it with the same base. So I do that, I change 36 to be 6 squared. Next, when you have a power raised to a power, you multiply those exponents. So I'm multiplying a monomial by a binomial. It has to be distributed over both terms. And then I took log base 6 of both sides. It left me with this exponent, x plus 7, and this one was 2x minus 4 combine like terms and solve and you get 11. Number 12. I have 4 times e with an exponent of x minus 5 equals 16. I must get rid of this 4 before I do anything else. It's being multiplied so I divide by 4 on both sides. It cancels on the left, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 
So if I want to change it to a natural log, or I could just take the natural log of either side. This time I wrote that I was going to change it to logs. So it is the natural log of the number 4 equals the exponent x minus 5. Again, I would get the same thing if I took the natural log on both sides. It cancels the e, leaving an x minus 5. And on the other side, I have a natural log of 4. So if you use your calculator and find the natural log of 4, it is approximately, and I wrote out several digits, 1.38629. And then I need to add 5 to get x by itself. And I get my approximate final answer. If you wanted to round it, if they told you to round it to the tenth place or hundredth place or whatever, you could do so. Okay? The last two problems, all the information you need is given to you, but it's where they want you to use logs in relation to some word problems. So you might be given a word problem and to be told to solve for a variable. And this could be that problem. And when you look at it, you're looking at the space, you're going, what? That it's nothing different than everything else you've ever done. First thing I want to do is get the base to this unknown power by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 250, so I divide by 250 on both sides. When I do, I have 3 equals 1.01125 to the nth power. Well, how do I get rid of this base if I want to get n by itself? We'll use the log of that same base. Okay? Just because it's a big long decimal doesn't make it any different than any other problem you've ever worked. On the right side, this cancels leaving n by itself. And if you put this in your calculator, you will get approximately 98.203. Okay, the next one is very similar, but they wrote out the word problem for you. You have 250 students that were taking a test. An hour later, 150 were still testing. This is modeled by, so notice you didn't have to write the equation, they're giving you the equation. 4r equals the natural log of 150 over 250. They want you to find the rate, r, so they want you to solve for r and explain why it should be negative. So there's two parts. First find the answer, but then explain why it's negative. So here's our equation. I need to solve for r. I first decided to go ahead and evaluate the natural log of 150 over 250 and got approximately a negative 0 0.511. To finish getting R by itself, I need to divide by 4. And when I take this value and divide it by 4 in my calculator, I get a negative 0 0.128. So why is this rate negative? because there is a decrease in the number of students. It's going down, okay? All right, that is your review. Do good on your test. Have a fabulous day.